Today's question is Olympic mathematics, which you want to solve. And the question is x squared minus y squared is equal to 24. xy is equal to 35. We have to look for the value of x plus y. And the question let us to know that x plus y, they have a real number. So, in solving this, before I start solving this question, don't forget to follow us in this page and share this video. So, anytime I'm releasing a video, you're able to be notified and getting the, uh, the video immediately. So, in solving this, we have to apply the first thing you're going to consider is the difference of two scales. So, there's something we call the difference of two scale, which we have a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b onto a minus b. So, anytime you have something like this and give you like this, meaning that a squared, y squared is equal to 24. Instead of writing this, you can decide to write x plus y, x minus y is equal to 24. So if x plus y, x minus y is equal to 24, let's scale the both sides. Scale the both side. So in scaling the both side, we have a value like x plus y, x minus y, whole square is equal to 24 square. We still have to remember a law, the power rules of indices, which says that a, b, all squared can be written as a squared dot b squared. If we agree that this is this, it means that if we're able to agree that this is this, meaning that x plus y, x plus y squared dot, this will turn to x minus y squared is equal to, the value of 24 squared, let's press our calculator, is 576, but let's confirm, 24 times 24. So we have 576. 576. So now, Let's expand this. In expanding this, we have x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. This will give us x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. It's got a 5, 7, 6. But the question let us to know that xy is 35. Let's talk to the value of xy. Recall that xy is 35. So let's turn the value of xy into this equation. We have x squared plus 2 onto 35 plus y squared, bracket open close, x squared minus 2 onto 35 plus y squared is equal to 5, 7, 6. So we have x squared plus 70 plus y squared onto x squared minus 70 plus y squared is equal to 576. So this area, we are going to apply the same rules that we apply in the first case. What is the rule? The rule is this, the difference of two scales. I want to try to write something that will resemble this again. But let me, let me try to rearrange this better for you to get exactly what I'm trying to explain. We have x squared plus y squared plus 70 onto x squared plus y squared minus 70 is equal to 5, 7, 6. Let me turn this to something like this. A value. x squared plus y squared. Let's turn to a value. Plus 70. Let's say this is a value. This is a value. But the same value now, now occur. We have x squared plus y squared minus 70 is equal to 5, 7, 6. Now, instead of writing this is, let's now turn this one to A, 
let all this one to be. It means that in writing this, you can only write that x squared plus y squared all squared minus 70 squared will surely give us 5, 7, 6. Why? x squared plus y squared, you know it is all squared. The first one will give us this. The second will give us minus because of difference of the two squares. There is a power of difference of two squares to solve a problem. So therefore, let's now make this as a subject of the formula. We have x squared plus y squared, all squared give us 576 plus 70 squared. So we have x squared plus y squared, all squared give us 576 plus 4900. So let's try to, let's add it together. We have x squared plus y squared is equal to so let's add 576. Let's add it together. We have 576 plus 4900. We have 5476. 5476. How in scale? Recall. So let's now make a scale. Let's find the scale root of the both sides. Square roots of the both sides. So we have x squared plus y squared. Let's find the square roots. It's got to plus or minus square root of 5, 4, 7, 6. So let's try to. Now, so we have x, so this, we cancel this, we have x squared plus y squared, it's got to plus or minus, square root of 5 for 7, 6, we give you 74, but let's confirm. You try to use your calculator to confirm the square root of, the square root of 5 for 7, 6, 5 for 7, 6. So we have plus or minus 74. So now, where are we going to? Recall that we are to find x plus y. This is where we are going to. We are to find x plus y. So in looking for x plus y, but this value square can give us x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. And x plus y, all squared, can give us, this can give us x squared plus y squared plus 2xy. But you can still remember that from the question from the beginning, xy is 35. So if xy is 35, so therefore we have x plus y all squared is equal to now, this, it is plus or minus 74, plus or minus 74, plus 2 onto 35. So we have x plus y, all squared, is equal to plus or minus 74 plus 70. So therefore, let us say that x plus y, all squared, give us plus 74 plus 70, or minus 74 plus 70. So we have x plus y, all square will give us, this will give you 144 or minus 4. So therefore, let's consider to have x plus y, all square is equal to minus 4. Let's find the square root of the both sides, root x plus y, all square is equal to root minus 4. This will cancel this x plus y is equal to, this will give you root minus 1 times root 4. So to give you x plus y is equal to i2 dot 2, which is x plus y is equal to 2i. But we have to reject this. 
we have to reject the plus or minus to give it plus or minus yeah plus or minus 2i so it is either 2i or minus 2i so s plus y is equal to minus 2i or plus 2i so please man we have to reject this because the question let us to know that it is not the the s plus y they were a real number so s plus y they were element of real number so let's now consider when the value is we have x plus y all squared is equal to 144 144 so therefore we have x by finding the square root of the both side root s plus y all squared give us the square root of plus or minus 144 so meaning that this we cancel this s plus y is equal to plus or minus 12 so if s plus y is equal to plus or minus 12 as a value of the real number so we have x plus y is equal to plus or minus 12 meaning that s plus y is equal to plus 12 or minus 12 so this is the value of x plus y so don't forget to share this video thanks for watching this video you are hopeless